Hello, my name is Dund Atala and I'm an undergraduate student at GW majoring in International Affairs and International Business. And I'm also co-chair for the Humanitarian Action Initiative at the George Washington University. I am delighted to be joined by Mohamed Hilmi, Senior Coordinator and Technical Specialist for Shelter and Settlements for Interaction for our Humanitarian Career Insights series. In these flash interviews, humanitarian practitioners tell us about their career paths, challenges, and successes. Let's get started. So first off, can you please tell me a little bit about your current position? What are your major responsibilities and what's your day-to-day -day like? Yeah, so uh, I work for Interaction uh, in the humanitarian team, which uh, Interaction is a coalition of 190 NGOs. Uh, working in humanitarian and development uh, work. Um, so I uh, work around uh, people displaced or uh, lose their home in a disaster. So it can be a refugee crisis or a displacement due to climate uh, issues or a earthquake. So uh, we generally, I do monitor uh, around what is going on in multiple other countries where there are response going on, humanitarian response. Uh, we work with uh, our members uh, on a monthly meeting uh, on issues that is very important to them in either in a crisis or disaster. Um, we do work with a global shelter cluster uh, as an advisory group where we are part of uh, you know developing their strategy, monitoring and other things. But uh, we do also have special projects. So we are working on um, something uh, around local leadership, uh, climate uh, initiative, uh, and training, development training for our members. So this is kind of the day-to-day uh, -day work. Uh, I do have a lot of calls, meet a lot of uh, our members, a uh, lot of emails. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we do have some field visits in, in countries uh, where it is. Great, thank you for sharing. Um, my second question is, how did you get to where you are today? Uh, it's by uh, pure accident. Uh, <laughs> so I was in a, I mean, uh, it's a, a, a while after I, I actually started working, you know, looking for a job, but um, I was in a boat and I saw an ad, ad on a, uh, economist magazine for somebody I, do, I, do, I can't remember the position but uh, a job in Somalia so I hand wrote a, a application and posted it and eventually it ended up by getting it through uh, after a series of uh, yeah uh, issues so it, it is pure accident I was not looking for as a working as a humanitarian but uh, I did like uh, what I did um, um, especially I, I liked working in the field uh, with people uh, on the ground. So um, although I have done other work in the offices, but I do uh, really like um, uh, working in the field. Uh, yeah. Great. Well. Um, finally, what advice would you share with young professionals who would like to pursue a career in humanitarian assistance? Yeah, I think uh, I would say reach out to as many people working in the field uh, as, as possible. Just write to them, email, uh, have uh, ask them for information, interview, uh, any way you can. I think uh, because this field is not uh, very narrow. It you know you can be a, you can do communications in humanitarian. You can be in the field doing water sanitation work or build uh, shelters. Uh, so nutrition work. So it is really, really vast field. So there's to understanding what options you have. It's it helps to speak to people who are in the field. Mm -hmm. I think I would go by that. I mean, obviously, all the other career advice uh, will help you. But knowing people and understanding options uh, that you have uh, will help. I think that's great. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining us Thank and you. sharing your insights.